the world's youngest country. Welcome to South Sudan! With its formal recognition as a country in 2011, South Sudan stands as the youngest country on earth. Born out of civil war and gruesome conflict, the first nine years of South Sudan's existence have presented numerous humanitarian issues. But the Sudanese spirit is still a very heavy one. Welcome to South Sudan! With a population of a little more than 10 million people, all eyes are focused on how the youngest country in the world will develop. This is, this is big name. Yeah, 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 big name. We are moving around here. Along the street in the hood. Talking to the nice people. The capital of the country is Juba, and the name Juba derives from Juba, another name for the Bari people of South Sudan. The major languages are English and Arabic. I'm from South Sudan. But there are also a lot of local languages. With hundreds of language groups, South Sudan is one of Africa's most linguistically diverse countries. South Sudan is a landlocked country in Africa, and it is one of the poorest countries in the world when measured by GDP per capita based on purchasing power parity. It's a region with a violent history, and in 2013 a civil war broke out yet again. Still there are some conflicts now, but I met so many amazing Sudanese people who really wow. just want the peaceful nation. The people here just want their country to grow. There are over 60 different ethnic groups in South Sudan. And while football is the most popular sport, wrestling is also extremely popular. And the different tribes like to compete with each other. Like here with the Mundari tribe and the Denga tribe. I lived three days with the Mundaris and it's one of the most fascinating tribes I've ever seen. After staying with a lot of different ones over 8 years of traveling. The Dinka people are also very unique because they are known as being the tallest people on the planet. They made a tall guy like me from Scandinavia feel small at times, which is rare. And the Dinkas are the largest ethnic tribe in South Sudan with around 18% of the population. Dinka. South Sudan's flag consists of horizontal black, red and green stripes. Separated by two white lines, the thick stripes represent the people, their blood and the fertile land. White is for peace. The blue triangle symbolizes the river Nile and the yellow star represents hope for the people. The country might not have any UNESCO sites, but there are so many fascinating people and lifestyles. And I have been so touched by South Sudan over my first week here. I can't wait to see the development of the world's youngest country with some of the friendliest smiles you'll meet. Some people call South Sudan unstable, but the smiles of the Sudanese people are one of the most stable things. This is South Sudan. Did you know about the world's youngest country? Would you visit? Remember to subscribe to Gus and the Go.